Acknowledgements. I did not begin this project with the intent of writing a book, only with a personal curiosity about the historical facts and sociocultural and political contexts and implications of the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing case. What you are about to read began as a 10-page undergraduate research paper written over 10 years ago, a paper that, over the years, developed into several longer essays and eventually into a doctoral dissertation. At several points in this journey, I could have moved on and called it a day, but everything I learned in the process demanded otherwise. That said, this book is not complete, nor is it definitive. Early on, in my naivete, I thought that I could solve the case, but I couldn't. However, to the dismay of some and the dogged efforts of others, startling and game-changing information about the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing continues to surface. There is much left to do. Nevertheless, I could not have undertaken this endeavor without the participation, encouragement, and assistance of many people who believed in me and or in the importance of the topic or both. I would like to thank Tryon Day, and particularly Chris Milligan and Kelly Ray for believing in this project, for taking this monster off my hands, and for their editorial integrity and consideration. Thank you also to those who selflessly shared their stories and insights with me over the years, some of whom risked much to do so, and all of whom asked nothing in return. Some individuals who contributed much to my efforts and understanding asked to remain anonymous, but their influence is felt throughout this book. Thanks to those who, throughout my long pursuit of information, offered their homes, friendship, guidance, encouragement, material and moral support, feedback and research, and editorial assistance. Special thanks to anyone who ever let me drag them along on my investigatory road trips for bearing witness to the strange and uncanny synchronicities that came to define my pursuit. To my road companions who calmly read the maps while I was lost on the back roads, tearing out my hair, you'll be happy to know I finally broke down and bought a GPS. Thanks to those who told me to calm down or breathe during my many meltdowns. Sorry, I was grumpy and weird. Thanks to those who, no matter how peculiar it seemed, never questioned my dedication or determination or told me my efforts were pointless or that I was wasting my time, even if it appeared that way. To those who did, thanks for your feedback. Thanks to those who made me laugh, inspired me, and those who filled my castle perilous with light. I couldn't have gotten out without you. For those who have passed away during this process, see you on the other side. Epic thanks to Brian Barrett, Gian Bishop, Larry Dangus Esquire, Kelly Grace, Thomas Johnson, Hank Meyer, Sabi Rice Kulkarni, Adrian C. Tucker, Holland van den Nieuwenhoff, and Meg Walters for significant moral editorial and investigatory support, generous material support, and or all of the above. In addition, I'd like to thank, in alphabetical order, Andrea Augustine, Casey, Johnny Winston Bangerter, Michael Beaudry, Mary Ellen Belding, Jack Blood, Richard Booth, Brave New Books, Walter Coffee Company, Don Browning, Russell Britton, Eve Butler, Roger Charles, Alex Constantine, Jannie Coverdale, Randy Coyne, Jason Crane, Terry Creech, Mary DeRue, Harlan Dietrich, Roland DeDuby, Thomas Enders, Chase Everett, Philip Ferrara, Jens Federer, Matthew Fletcher, Leland Freeman, Mike Frisch, Steve Gentili, Tony Girardi, Mike Hackett, Annie Hartley, Luke A. Hartlieb, Hoppy Heidelberg, Juan Hernandez, Bruce Jackson, Stephen Jones, Ken Carnage, Charles Key, John F. King, Cynthia Nope, Mary Kohler, Wendy LaBarge, Peter K. Langan, David Langley, Katina Lawson Weeb, Betty and VZ Lawton, Carl LeBron, Jen Least, Thomas L'Esperance, Michael Aaron Lloyd, Jenny Lococero, Lux Lounge, Phil Maples, Brian Margitz, Dan Moak, Leticia A. Martinez, Donna McClure, Liz and Don McDermott, Stacey McFacey, Lance and Johanna Meacham, Ruth Meyerowitz, Brett Munson, Brandon Murphy, Mike Nations, Rob Nye, Paranoia Magazine, Ron Patton, Pearl, Kate Procious, Sage Rakestraw, Jen Ramp, Priya Reddy, aka Warcry, Rob Revere, Richard Reyna, Rochester Research Associates, Jessica Strude Sapia, Giver Schwab, Chanda Seymour, Sherry Seymour, Brian Shelton, Watermelon Slim, Elizabeth Betsy Smith, Tom and Sarah Stevens, Jesse C. Trentadu, Christopher Tritico, Tristan Martin Tomaselli, Dana Twilligear, Chopsticks Waits, Leecha Wilton, Ron Woods, Louise Wu, Bethany York, Tanya Zani, and those who shall not be named here. Thanks to the University of Buffalo's Mark Diamond Research Fund for financial assistance during one stage of this project, and to the University of Texas, Dolph Briscoe Center for American History, and St. Bonaventure University, Breeds and Memorial Library Archives, for helping to make history accessible.